you're welcome once again now as i always say continue to take care of yourself you know we are not in normal time let's watch a short video on covid 19. we'll be right back here are some important tips to fight covid 19 the pandemic wash the hands frequently with soap or sanitizer soap is an effective weapon to wash away the viruses and bacteria avoid unnecessary touching of eyes nose and mouth use your elbow to cover <laughs> while sneezing or coughing wear a mask if you need to go out for any urgent work to protect yourself and avoid close contact with people who are unwell the minimum safe distance is one meter or three feet stay at home if you begin to feel unwell most importantly <laughs> Don't self-medicate. <coughs> Call your doctor and seek early medical help if you have persistent fever, cough, and difficulty in breathing. Don't worry, not all fever and cough are related to coronavirus. Let the healthcare provider diagnose it and follow the advice given by the doctor. Avoid handshake. Instead, greet people by folded hands and say namaste. Lastly, do not panic. Stay at home and keep social distance. Avoid going out in public. Let's fight this pandemic together. Stay safe. Welcome back. Today, we have mathematics. But before we begin our lesson, sing this song after me. I'm counting one, what is one? One is one alone, alone it shall be. I'm counting two, what is two? Two pay, two pay, compare, compare. One is one alone, alone is shabby. I'm counting three, what is three? Three is ten, I want two pay, two pay, compare, compare. One is one alone, alone is shabby. I'm counting four, what is four? Four is follow me. Three is ten. I want to pay to pay. Compare, compare. One is one alone. Alone is shabby. I'm counting five. What is five? Five is fire. Four is follow me. Three is ten. I want to pay to pay. Compare, compare. One is one alone. Alone in Shadi. Good. I believe you are enjoying the song. Let's continue with our lesson. As I said, we have mathematics. But before that, let's move to our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we learned about addition of two digit numbers without a remainder using the vertical method. Example, 43 plus 22. So you write 43 at the top and the 22 at the down. Now, as I said earlier on, whenever you are using the vertical method, you always start adding from the right. You take your counters, you count three, you put it aside, you count another two, then you add the three and the two that you have counted together. Let's count all. I hope you had five. Very good. Let's move to the left button. Count four. Then count two. So we have our four and then our two. Let's put them together. What did you get? I believe you had six. Very good. So it means that 43 plus 
22 will give us 65. Very good. Let's move on to today's lesson. Today, we are going to learn subtraction of two digit numbers without borrowing. I repeat, subtraction of two digit numbers without borrowing. And we are using the vertical method. Example 1 67 minus 35. Let's arrange them vertically. So 67 at the top and 35 at the down. Good. Now don't forget that when we are dealing with vertical methods, we always start from the right side first. So as usual, take your counters. Count seven. Very good. Now, the seven that you have counted, we are going to take away 5 from 8. After taking 5 from 8, what did you get? 2. Very good. So you write the 2 at the bottom of 7 and 5. After we are done with the right side, let's move to the left side. You see the number at the top? Six. Take your counters again and count six. Good. And out of the six that you have counted, you take away Three from eight. What is left? Three. Very good. So you also write it below six and three. Now, this is telling us that sixty seven minus thirty five will give us. 32. I believe you are following the lesson. Let's try another example. Example 2. 99 minus 66. Let's arrange them vertically. As I said earlier on, we are going to subtract starting from the right figures and which numbers are at the right side 9 and 6 good so you take your counters again and then you count 9 after counting your 9 you take away 6 from 8. What is left? 1, 2, 3. Very good. You write it below it. We are done with the right. So let's move to the left side. The numbers are 9 and 6. So you count to 9, and then you take away 6 from 8.
What did we get? One, two, three. Very good. You then write it below nine and six. Excellent. So now, this is also telling us that 99 minus 66 will give us 33. Good. I hope you are getting me right. Now, always remember that whenever you are dealing with vertical method, always you deal with the right numbers before you move to the left numbers. Before we end the lesson, take this as your homework. Look on your screen, you can see it over there. Don't forget to do your homework. So we meet again. Stay safe. Bye-bye.